Good morning. I'm Richard Burr from North Carolina. I'm joined uh, today with uh, my good friend uh, and colleague Tom Coburn from Oklahoma, with uh, Congressman Nunes from California and Congressman Ryan from Wisconsin. Uh, we're here to, uh, I guess, be the first to launch the specifics of health care reform. I think what you will hear today is the boldest approach to health care in decades in the United States. In simplistic terms, our plan will transform health care from a U.S. health care system that triggers when people get sick to a health care system that embraces and incentivizes prevention, wellness, and disease management. Those are three words you're going to hear when anybody discusses health care reform this year. But few will meet the test of actually constructing a health care model that puts the incentives in prevention, wellness, and disease management. Uh, those members that are here today, and we've been joined by Lamar Alexander, my colleague uh, uh, from Tennessee, uh, those pieces of health care, prevention, wellness, and disease management are absolutely essential if we're to reduce the overall cost of health care in the United States. But in achieving true prevention, wellness, and disease management, we also increase the health of the American people. We provide incentives through private insurance that allow individuals to make healthy choices to get the treatments when they need them, where they want them. It embraces employer-based health care, it embraces private marketplaces, and it allows individuals to not be discriminated uh, as they are today uh, with large group pools. Our plan attempts to bring more people under the coverage umbrella in private insurance, therefore spreading the risk amongst many more Americans. Last Friday, we sent a letter to our nation's governors. We shared with them the introduction of this plan. We also made it very clear to them that this plan would present them an option, an option of folding their Medicaid population into this private sector plan. The first real opportunity that the state's governors have had uh, to get out of the health care business, uh, to allow uh, the pool of insured in this country to grow, and to allow those companies that are now incentivized to actually be able to treat the Medicaid population without a Medicaid M on their forehead. We're chasing the primary care out of emergency rooms and we're creating a medical home for every American. We're setting up the avenue so that education can be done on disease management. We're also opening for Medicaid patients a new group of providers those that refused to take Medicaid beneficiaries before because the reimbursements were so low. This will be a whole new world towards uh, the quality of life for any Medicaid beneficiaries that are in states where governors choose to include them in this plan. Um, with me today, uh, as I said, uh, I'm going to turn the podium over to uh, Paul Ryan, who's going to get into uh, some more specifics about the bill. Paul? 